Hi friends, it's Julie Golding Page, Independent Stampin' Up! Demonstrator here in St. Stephen, New Brunswick, Canada, along the tidal Scudig or St. Croix River, the traditional territory of the Passamaquoddy. And I'm grateful that they share this beautiful place with us. Today I'm here for Kitten Cuppa, where I just come online and make one card out of a kit. Just to show you how simple the kit is. You don't have to be crafty. You can think of yourself as non-crafty. No experience is necessary. I'm going to show you how easy it is to put together one of these cards from a kit. So today we're going to look at this card and it is from the Colorful Kaleidoscopes kit. So let's get right to it. And I'll just straighten out my camera here. Okay, so um, let's get going with our kit. And I've got my address here. So if you want to get in touch with me, just go to www.juliescraftaddict.com. And I've got card designs there. You can shop with me there. Uh, you can look at my online classes, which are available all across Canada. And there's lots more information. You can also join my group called Creative Cafe. And there's a promotion on with that this month. And I'll tell you about that toward the end of our call today. All right, there we go. I think I got that adjusted. And here is the kit. So I will put our card here. I'm just going to open up the kit. Now, I will say this one's a little bit in disarray because uh, my daughter, who's 12, taught a kit class with this very kit this week. Um, so that's how easy it is. She uh, taught a kid's kit class with this. So if she can do it at 12, and other kids can too, and even younger, then I'm sure you can do it as well. So I'm just going to go back to the beginning page of this because she was using it earlier. And so here right on the front, you see those are the instructions. And it shows the three cards that you can make. So let me show you the cards that she made. So here's one of them. Very pretty, isn't it? Here's another one that she made. Looks really fancy, doesn't it? And this one as well. I think that angling is really interesting. So we've got three cards in this particular kit and three of each for a total of nine cards. And if you'd like to know how to order this kit, just message me and I'll be glad to help you out with that. Um, also, uh, we've got the instructions card by card in here. And this is the instruction page for card number one. And I think that's all we need. All right, maybe we'll look at this page first. So this was on the back page and it just shows what you need for card number one. So let's get all those elements out. So we have the card base that has that background to it and the green, I think it's Bermuda Bay maybe, the color name. So let's see if we can find those things in our kit. I'll just leave that out so we can see them. And let's see what we've got there. So we need that background. Ah, it's this one here. Yeah, so it has a navy background and that's the pattern. So let's just compare that to make sure we've got the one that they intend. Yeah, that's the same pattern. So we'll set that down. And now we want our overlay, which is this Bermuda Bay one with the cutout. So let's find our overlay pages here. And they came in this plastic wrapped packet. I have a little envelope just to keep them all together so they don't get uh, kind of messed up when they get jostled around in the kit. So we want this greenish blue one, uh, Bermuda Bay. Whoops, I've got two of them, I think. So we'll just take one of those and we'll put that down here as well. So we've got those two pieces. We'll also need these embellishments, which are very nice. I like them a lot. Here's the little sheet of embellishments. Aren't they nice? Those are very pretty. Um, we also have something that looks very much like those in the regular product offering that you can buy just as in the embellishments. I think it's called something like metallic adhesive back dots, maybe brushed metallic adhesive back dots. And they come in three or four different colors, not just gold. Uh, so if you're interested in those, you can let me know as well. Um, let's see, we need a hexagon to stamp on. Okay, so let's see if we can find our little hexagons here. They should be in the kit someplace. Let's see, where did they get to when we had all these pieces out the other night? Okay, so here's all our envelopes. I really like those too. They're very, very nice. Um, so this, I think, where's the one that matches ours? 
I think it's this one. That is the one that matches our pattern, and it's really, really pretty. Although you can mix and match them as much as you like. But they're always lovely envelopes with decorations in them as well. And here is our little sheet of hexagons. And you can see how easy they are to punch out. This one's practically falling out all by itself. So we'll put that aside as well. Let's see what else we need. So we have these strips. Now those are adhesive strips that are in the package. And they look like this. So these are the adhesive strips. And we're going to need those. So I'll put them aside in a place we can find them. These are little hexagons. You can see there, um, not circles, but hexagons. And those little hexagons refer to these little mini dimensionals. So they're this foam adhesive. So that's what those are. We'll put them off to the side and have them ready too. And then the next piece we need is the ink spot, which is right here. Oops. I think we used a different color in her kid class the other night. So we will open that up and use that gray granite. You need your block. So all of the kits from the, the kit collection come with a block. So they've got everything you need to make the whole set of projects. And then you need this stamp that says thank you. So let's see what we got in here. The stamp set is here. And you can see there's all kinds of different sentiments. Wishing you a magical birthday if you don't want to say thank you. Um, just because you're special. Thanks. I can't thank you enough. Like there's all kinds of different choices. So you can use whatever one you want. All right. So I'll just close up the rest of that box. And again, this is called the Colorful Kaleidoscopes Kit. So let's get going on that. And we will do step number one. So we'll need our instructions again here. And this is the page we want. It says number one. So that shows all the instructions for card number one. So the first thing they want you to do is open your ink spot, stamp, and stamp right onto your hexagon. So let's do that. So we got to open our gray granite at first here. So you can open these in different ways. You can use scissors and just kind of cut through um, to open it, but I like to just peel back the adhesive on it sometimes. Oh, this one's not going to cooperate with me though. Um, so to keep them closed after you've opened them, you can use elastics just to keep them um, closed and then you won't end up with ink leaking out. So that's a good idea. Let's see if I've got that enough out of the way and cleared for us to actually open the thing. Yes, I do. Okay, there you go. So there's our ink pad, it's open. Now we want this thank you, thank you, thank you stamp. So we'll just take that off, just peel it off the backing here. And there's our block. So we'll just place it right on the block there. And because these are brand new stamps, they do have a coating that comes from the factory. And I actually visited the factory in Utah this summer and I found out what that coating is. And it's simply dish soap because they wash the stamps after they bake them. So um, if, when you do this with your thumbs or your fingers or you can stamp it on your arm, whatever you want, um, basically you're just using the oils in your skin to get the soap off and it's really not going to hurt you. It's not anything toxic. It's just dish soap. So that was really nice to know. Well, hi, Kathy. Welcome. Yeah, maybe um, anybody who's watching today can tell me where you're watching from and whether you've tried one of the kits. I'd love to know what you thought of them. So here we go. We've got that all ready. And here is our hexagon. So what I like to do with a big stamp like this is just turn my ink pad upside down and stamp repeatedly onto the stamp with it. So you just kind of tap firmly. You won't hurt anything. Um, these little stampin' spots are made of fibers, and so they're not going to fall apart or anything when you do this. It won't hurt them at all. And you want some really good coverage on there. It's kind of hard to see that one because it's a light gray kind of color. So let's stamp it on here and see how it works. So you just press down, straight down, Hold it there for a while. You don't have to rock it. That can cause a smudge. And then just pick it up. Okay, so that looks like that was plenty covered in ink. 
So let's stamp that again. It looked like it got a little too much. So I want to try that again. I always like to try this before I actually stamp on my paper, just to avoid disappointment. Okay, that looks much better. I like that. And let's see which orientation they put this. Okay, so they have it point up and down. So let's put it that way. There we go. So let's ink it up and we'll go ahead and stamp. And this is the only stamping you need to do on this entire card. It's really simple. So that's always nice when you find a simple one. You just kind of line it up wherever you want it to go. Hold it down for a few seconds and lift up. Okay, so there you go. We got our sentiment on there. And you can see that it's a little bit uneven there, but um, it as it dries, it's going to become more and more dark as well. You can see it's already doing that. So that's good. But if you don't like how it's stamped the first time, you can always turn it over and just stamp on the back. And in fact, they always have extra ones in your kit to stamp on. So this one, you only need three of the hexagons, but they've given you a fourth as an extra. So if you really didn't like how this turned out, that's no problem. You can stamp it again or use a different color and use that extra one that comes with it. So it's up to you if you want to do that. I think that looks just fine the way it is. I don't think it needs to be perfect. One of the things I like about paper crafting is it doesn't need to be perfect. So I really think it's fine the way it is. All right, so I'm gonna just use my stamp chamois here. It's called Simply Chamois. You just put water on it to dampen it and then the water cleans your stamp very nicely, as you can see. So it's really good. All right, so that's all cleaned up. Ink pad is closed. Let's go ahead and look at our next instruction, step number two. So we're gonna take that lovely cutout that we have here it is. We're going to flip it over and put the adhesive on. So you can see they've put one, two, three, four adhesive strips and then one, two, three little hexagons to pop it up in the middle. All right, so let's leave that there as our model and we'll put our adhesive strips right on. So let's see what we can do here. As long as you've got some on every side, that's just fine. And I'm just standing directly over this, so I'm just trying to make sure that I actually put them on the right place. If you're sitting while you're crafting, which most people are, um, you can kind of see better where it needs to go. But since I'm standing for the benefit of my camera today, uh, it's a little more challenging for me to see that. But I think I've got them lined up. Okay, so let's put this one on. All right, there's those four. That's good. And then we need the three, so they, three hexagons. So they put one there, one over on that one. So just where there's more space, so you don't see it through the other side of the paper. You don't wanna place it on any of the holes because then you'll definitely see it and it'll be very sticky as well. And then they just stuck it on the front of the card. So before we actually do that, I'm gonna fold the card because it's harder to fold once you've put the dimensionals on the front. I'm gonna use my bone folder just to give it a nice crisp fold. And I'm gonna take off these adhesive strips. Now, that was the challenging part the other day, the adhesive strips. Usually they are perfectly easy to get off but I think this was maybe a batch that didn't quite turn out the way they hoped. And if you get some like this, like we did, that are really tough, or that the adhesive peels right off, just give a call to the company. You can call 1-800-STAMP-UP, not stamp in up, but S-T-A-M-P-U-P. That's their customer support line. And just tell them what happened to your adhesive if it isn't working properly and it's all peeling off. Uh, and I'm sure that they would send you some new because they want to know if they have any defects in any of their products. And that's highly unusual. I've never seen it do that before, but um, but the other night we had some trouble with it. But these ones, you can see I got them off. So it's, everything is good. So let's line this up. Oops, I think I got that too far over toward the edge. We want to move that in a little bit. There, that's a little better. 
Okay, and we're just going to apply that right to the card. You can line it up however you like. And you can see that that's all nicely popped up. Isn't that cool? And it just makes this beautiful kaleidoscope effect. All right, so we've got that on. Let's go on to step number three. For this, we will need our little embellishments. And what they did was they made the six points of the star or the hexagon in the middle um, stand out. So that's what we're going to do with those. So let's do that. We will put, oops, I didn't line that up. There we go. That's better. So that's one, two, three, and three more, four. Let's move that down just slightly. These are a little bit forgiving, so you can move them around a bit if you don't like the placement. Five and six. So there those are. So I'll show you that closer up. So look how simple that was. Wasn't that simple? And look how fancy it is at the same time. So we've done that. All we've had to do is stamp one item, put adhesive on and stick that on. Put the little embellishments on which are self stick and now all we're going to do is add our thank you stamped item and again we're using those little mini hexagons so we're just going to turn this over and we're going to put the little mini hexagons there so there's one and there's another doesn't take much to stick them on they're very very high quality the kind of adhesive that they are so they work really well and then we're going to stick that down in the corner here. And you can put it anywhere you like, what, whatever suits you really. We're gonna stick that on like that. And look at that, didn't take much to make a really fancy looking card. So again, this is the Colorful Kaleidoscopes Kit. And I'll show you the other cards again that, that my daughter made in her kids kit class that she taught the other night. So she's 12 and she could do it. And so I'm sure anybody watching today could do it too. So here's another card that she made that's beautiful as well. And then this one too. So if you're interested in getting a copy of this Colorful Kaleidoscopes kit, I would be happy to help you out. Just send me off a message and I can give you the link for where you need to go to order that. Or I can order it for you if you prefer. But I just want to say thank you for joining me today. I hope you've enjoyed this kit. And I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Bye for now.